Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. I just wanted to share a product uh, shoot with you and how we went about making something really, really simple turn out to something really, really beautiful. So I hope you enjoy the video and I'll see you on the flip side. So, welcome to this video where we are going to be talking about product photography in limited spaces. Now, the subject matter for this video is going to be the Alpha Red. Actually, well, it's the whole ordeal that you can see right here, but it is from Skin Better, and they design very, very nice skin products. So, we are going to take advantage of the fact that they have some really, really nice packaging. It's, it's glittery. They've put a lot of effort into it, and we want to capture that essence. The only problem is that we're doing it in a very, very small space. So we are going to discover how to navigate that space around here. We're going to take it from there and see if we can turn something mundane into something that is possibly magazine worthy. Let's do this. I'm not sure if you can kind of gather the scope of it, what's going on, but it is a rather small space, but it's not impossible to work with, right? We just have to be smart about how we utilize that space. So for example, I'm going to pull this table back here because generally speaking I want the product photography with the light pointing from there to point this way reflecting that beautiful white light back behind the products as well so let's make sure that this area is free cool and actually probably should shut down the Mac uh, actually I think I need to do that the Mac is shut down we're just gonna drag that this bad boy over here And I mean, I'm not putting this in any specific place, just a place where it'll fit. And of course we have our products right here. Next thing, let's make the table as close as we can oh, with some room in the background. We're gonna be starting with this one. And now we need to get a feel for how the product looks in camera. I mean, of course in here, it looks really nice, but it looks, looks quite boring, right? So we want to change that up and we want to add a little bit more to make it look nice. We just moved into our house, so there's going to be things lying around, but I wanted to take you with me just to let you know uh, what I'm choosing and where I'm choosing it from. So come on. And we have to be quiet because our kids are sleeping. Second thing, some decorations to create a depth of field, right? Plant. Plant, and I think, yeah, see, that's nice. One in front, one in the back, you put your product in the middle like this. And already, if you go right in front, right here, you can see how it comes together so quickly. Isn't that, isn't that great? So, I know for a fact that this orange is gonna clash with the background, and I don't want that to happen. So, we are taking a nice spaghetti strap, and we're going to dress it For more efficient purposes, when you're doing product photography and you're doing a line of them, you want to make sure that the orientation and the position of the product is at the same place every single time, especially when you're using a tripod, because you don't want to keep exchanging 
positions or moving the camera around too much. You just want to click and the picture is taken with the same exact orientation and everything else. So just a little piece that can fit under your product just to mark it. So there, I'm going to have it there. Of course, I'm going to reorient myself and all the positions and everything like that just to make sure. But yeah, every time you take it off, then you take something else, you're like, okay, where was it before? And you can just kind of guesstimate the center of that product for efficiency. Cool. So the next thing is a little bit of lighting. Now, it's, it's good that I have this white background because it's gonna reflect some of that light in the, uh, behind the product, but I want something a little bit more because otherwise the picture kind of looks a little bit bland and it's kind of like uh, a little bit sterile for myself. I like color and I'm sure that you can see that through throughout my photography. So we're gonna do something and that is, I'm gonna take this lamp right here and I'm going to place it underneath, underneath here like that, but I want to bring it into the wall a little bit more. And so if you look at the product, well, here's our orientation. Now, if you look at the product with that blue in the background, it's really, really, really nice. I have a problem though. I need something to hold it a little bit higher because if it's too low, you're not gonna get the effect. So I need it to be right around here. Luckily, we can use a table from the living room. So once again, <laughs> talk about tight spaces, <laughs> right? All right, so can you tell that we have kids? There is stuff everywhere. Yes, I'm gonna take this. Here are a couple of pro tips to remember. Any surface that has reflective qualities, you're gonna to wanna to wash it, right? Like glass cleaner or something like that. The products themselves that you're gonna be photographing, you wanna wipe them clean because there's always some white dot or just a piece of a particle of dust or something like that that is just gonna save you time having to edit it afterwards. Prevention is the best way to make it most efficient. So. We've got everything done. We have wiped the mirror. Our product is ready to be photographed. So of course, we're gonna take the product out and I'm gonna put my other glove on because I wanna prevent any fingerprints. I had to use yours. So they're very interesting. <laughs> so that's good, completely cleaned. Um, and since this is the first one that I'm doing, uh, I'm going to be just freestyling it so I can feel for the position of where I want it to be. Now, if you come really close, you can see that if you want that depth of field, you're going to run into a couple of problems. Um, first of them being that you, of course, you want to retain the depth of field and have that blurry background so that these products pop. But the other thing is that if this product is not exactly aligned with the first part of this and you have a very low aperture, well, guess what? This is gonna be blurry and that one's gonna be in the focus, which is what we don't want. We want them to both be in focus. Of course, you can put your aperture at a higher level, say 5.6 or F8 since you have control of the lighting, but I wanna retain that depth of field and I think that it also enhances the light in the background, so on and so forth, because we wanna create space in a very limited surrounding, right? So we're gonna go with that, give it a couple of test shots. 
cool. So the photo is looking really, really good. I like how it, it's very sharp. I like the colors in the background. Everything is great except for one thing. And that is, I want the light to be reflecting from the dome. You can see it, you can sort of see it here. You can see the top and the bottom sliver, but I want this whole section to be lit. So that means that we have to take the dome, we have to lower it to just in front of the product. And that's gonna be tough because I'm gonna have to put the camera here and I'm gonna have to be under it while I flip the screen downwards so that I'm not blocking any light from hitting our subjects. So let's go ahead and take care of that. Remove this. We're ready to start taking photos. And we've adjusted the light like we were talking about, and that's because I wanted to get the reflection of light on the product evenly over this re reflective area. It's really, really important. And you can see that in a lot of other product photography, like bottles and stuff like that, they usually have a, a strip of light going down the silhouette of the bottle. That's really, really important to emphasize what the product feels like and just, yeah. So product setting or camera settings, uh, we've got F2.8 shutter at 1 200th of a second. And that's really because I'm going to be having the camera kind of leaning on the mirror here. So I have to get down here because I don't want to block the light from hitting the tart or the subject. Cool. And I have to do some reorienting. I need this to be a little bit further back. But I also remember how I have to keep them very even. And I need this to be turned. Because I need that here. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't have a full studio. You have to you have to move around things so much. Alright, I have to get down here. Very cool, and if you could just pass me the camera. Just want to show something really quickly. There you go. So our products are in, they're ready to go. Let's take a photo and let's get this done. But now I'm gonna do the full line of their products. We're gonna take them into Lightroom, we're gonna edit them, and then of course I'm gonna show you the amazing final results of the photos. So finally, after a few hiccups, uh, it was about 2 a.m. when my son decided to wake up and he just decided not to go to bed. So we had to kind of pause everything and put everything at a standstill. However, uh, the, uh, the promise was that I was gonna show you the end results and here they are. Uh, I can say that I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with what happened uh, from that shoot. It was very, very creative and Honestly, there's not a whole lot more I can say about this other than that it turned out amazing and I want you to be inspired to do the same with your surroundings. Remember, it doesn't take a huge studio with $500,000 of equipment to make something simple work for you in your benefit. In this case, if you take a look at the screen right now, it's gonna be skin better. These products, this one was the first version that I've put up and I was like, yeah, it's okay. The blue's all right, it's really nice, but it's more like an evening thing. Uh, I can, but then I wanted to kind of uh, give it a sense of a tropical vibe. I want somebody to believe that after they use these products, it's gonna make them feel like they just came out of a tropical spa and they're about to go out and onto the sandy beaches in the Maldives. So for that reason, I decided to go with a more sunsetty look which is over here and this is the photo that I decided on finally it is just it is just so crisp and so amazing the end result uh, from something so simple so ladies and gentlemen I sincerely hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that it has inspired you to utilize the gear that you have already at home with the simple products that you might have laying around. 
Until next time, I hope to see your feedback and, and see what you have been able to produce. Just post a comment down below. Let me know what you achieved. I'd love to see that. See you soon.